I am so incredibly excited because today we're going to be doing one of my most requested videos, my jewelry collection, and I have a diamond haul. Before we dive in though, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post lifestyle and luxury related content when, every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership. We have an amazing community over on the Safe Space Discord. And sound off in the comments. Let me know what's your favorite piece. Are you a jewelry collector? And are there any pieces I need to add to my collection for 2024? One of my big goals for 2024 is to really concentrate on growing my jewelry collection. I have some beautiful runway pieces from Gucci, some collectible pieces from Ben on Moon, some new diamonds from Idol, and just like a really good handbag, which is what we talk a lot about on this channel, good jewelry can really set off an outfit. Now, I wear three main pieces every single day. You've probably seen them in either all of my videos or my vlogs, but first up and most important is my diamond engagement slash wedding ring. This was obviously a gift for my husband when he proposed on our last night in our trip to Paris way back in 2016 for our 10th anniversary. I loved it so much I just used it as my wedding ring. Also, speaking of weddings, this is the Tiffany & Company Venetian Link Bracelet. My husband and I both bought each other matching bracelets unknowingly for our wedding gifts, and we both wear ours every single day. In fact, I forgot to put it on the other day, and my wrist felt really naked, didn't love it, so I had to run home on lunch, put it back on. And last but not least, the quintessential, everyone has to have it, Apple Watch. I have the older version. I don't even know what version this is, but I don't really plan to upgrade anytime soon because an Apple Watch is an Apple Watch and I really love a Cartier tank. Someone please tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> now let's dive into some of my favorite pieces from the House of Gucci. Now when it comes to Gucci, I went a little crazy with the Cruise Collection from 2019, both with ready to wear and a lot with jewelry. And quite honestly, you don't see these a lot on camera, but they are my favorite pieces to wear. Some of them make too much noise and my husband who edits my videos complains about it. So rather than hear about it, I just don't wear them when filming. Now, first up, let's talk about one of my most prized pieces. This piece is stunning. So it's giving antique cameo. I love neoclassical elements. So this is like right at home in my wardrobe. I love the multicolored glass stained effect down at the bottom on the cross. Simply marked GG on the front. It's very low key, very under the radar. And I loved this piece so much. I bought all of the other brooches from this collection and the matching earrings. So let's dive into the earring next. This piece, you guys, I complain about it every single time I wear it. It is stunning. It is gorgeous. It is the moment, the vibe. It weighs a ton. Like I wear it when I'm filming videos and by the end of like filming for 20, 30 minutes, my earlobe is dead. It is so heavy. The mechanism is so strong, but it is such a vibe. I can't not wear it once in a while, right? It's gorgeous and it matches really well with the other cross. And what I love about this one, rather than being multicolored and kind of matchy matchy, this one, they just use the blue glass stones, which I love. And then of course the lion's head is bejeweled and other crystals. And speaking of lion's heads, I have some more lion heads to show you from Gucci, but let's keep going through my brooches first. This next piece, you guys, is the vibe. <laughs> I'm gonna say that I think for every single piece I pull out, but I am not kidding you. This is Hercules. He has some chains at the bottoms with like shells and palmettes. Again, more beautiful neoclassic design elements. There are a few strands that have the GGs at the end. Surprisingly, he doesn't weigh too much. His head is hollow, but he really sets off any look. I actually wore this for my wedding with a collection of brooches on my suit. Kind of stole the show, I'm not gonna lie. Now to that end, when I wanna be a little bit more casual, I have two more cameo brooches from this collection. First up is this beautiful oval one. Down at the bottom, it has like a nice little cross band with the ram's head, a couple of, I call them, beans. They're like little brass beans with GG stamped on the front. And I love just either wearing this by itself or even pairing it with a couple of others just because I think brooches en masse just looks really good and it just kind of takes that whole, you know, eclectic element up to the next notch. I don't know what I'm going to do with Alessandra McKaylee no longer at Gucci. You guys, of my jewelry collection, my Gucci is probably my biggest, my biggest brand in there. So uh, I'm really going to miss his designs with jewelry. This next brooch is is phenomenal. This actually came as a pair because you're supposed to be able to wear it on either side of the lapel. Harry Styles has been photographed several times wearing this brooch and it is absolutely stunning. When I saw it in person, like photos do not do it justice. I hope my video does. This is from the Raja collection. I love all the crystals, the hand paintedness of it. I need to find the opposite side just so I can wear them on both sides of one of my lapels. I always forget which side I currently own. So when I'm out and about, I just need to have like a photo in my phone so that way I can snatch it when I see it. This last brooch though is 
one of the most important brooches in my Gucci collection. This one I actually found when we were in Italy back in 2018. It feels like a lifetime ago. It was at the outlet in Florence, if you know, you know. And I didn't buy it because the back of it had a ton of damage. They had stored them like stacked there at the store and all of the rhinestones on the one underneath it snagged the silk on the back and I just could not justify paying that much for something that had damage already. So I was like, you know what, you know, we've got a, we've got a Gucci outlet, you know, close to home. I'll just check when we get back. Never found it. I would search periodically online, uh, periodically, I mean, probably weekly for a few years. Um, Gucci bow brooch, could never find it. And luckily one day it popped up. I immediately bought it. I probably overpaid. Don't even ask me what I paid because I don't remember. I just know that when I saw it and it was in good condition, I had to have it. And I love wearing this piece as a bow tie when I'm wearing like an all black suit with like maybe like a frilly black shirt underneath. It's a good pop of color and it just Gosh, I'm gonna keep saying this, but it really elevates the outfit and it just sets the vibe. I love this piece. Now, rounding out the Gucci brooches, I have two more. I have a nice, simple, rectangular one that's also in the cameo style. And what I love with all of these is they have the sun and the moon on the back side. So they're beautiful from the front and the extra detail on the back, it's just kind of like for, for you, the wearer. It's just something special that you know is there. Gucci jewelry is so beautiful, you guys. If you haven't tried it yet, go and check it out. I love Love, love my Gucci jewelry. Now, the last piece from this collection, I think maybe minus some cocktail rings I'll show you here in a minute, is the Scarab brooch. This one I wore on my wedding as well. It was, I think it was my something blue, actually, because it has that beautiful blue enamel band around the sides, a beautiful orange scarab on the front, and I really wanted to find this with the... They had a turquoise scarab version that I really wanted and matching earrings. They also had matching earrings for the Hercules that I almost bought, but it was broken and I just could not justify buying a broken Hercules. Anyway, these are my brooches from Gucci. Next up, I have two cocktail rings. This first one, it's covered in little plastic turquoise stones. Sadly, I didn't realize until I got home that a couple of them are broken. I need to take it in and get it fixed, but I love this piece. It fits perfectly on my pinky. It's that extra kind of like added something when I just want to like elevate an outfit and give it a little bit more edge. Next up is this all blackout ring. I actually found this at Nordstrom Rack. It's Gucci and I only paid $60 for it. If you could believe that or not, it's in one of my weekend vlogs. You'll have to check it out. But this piece is stunning. There's a lot of filigree work on the back and I'm really loving that it kind of has like a Victorian funeral vibe. And I just love this piece. It is everything. All right, now that we've gotten through the Gucci section, this next part of the video has been generously sponsored by Idol. I am so excited to partner up with the team at Idol. First of all, they've been amazing to work with. And I think a lot of the ethos there at their company really align with what I value. First of all, they operate on three key points. The first of it being modularity. Almost everything in their lineup is designed to be modular with other pieces from the collection. So with like the earrings, you start out with the stud, which is the initial piece. And then from there, you can add on different things like more elements of gold, more diamonds around them. You can kind of customize it and make it your own. And the great thing is, is you don't have to keep investing in more and more jewelry. To change it up, you just have to buy another add-on, which is fantastic. I also appreciate them for the fact that the gold is traceable. They are all about being transparent using traceable 14 karat gold from conflict-free regions, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, how often can you say that, like, I know where my diamonds came from, my gold, this, that, and the other, especially when you have to consider things like, you know, the environment environment, like is the mining negatively impacting the earth? Is it being mined in an ethical way? So they take the guesswork out of it by, like I said, using traceable gold and lab-grown diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds, they are exactly like real diamonds. The only difference is we grew them. They grow under the same heat and temperature conditions as a regular diamond would, but you're cutting out the mining and the huge markup on mine diamond prices. And last but not least, they are accessible. The great thing with Idol is that they don't mark up the prices on their jewelry. I mean, trust me, the pieces are stunning. They absolutely could, but they're accessible. They're, they're diamonds for everybody and diamonds for every day. And what do I mean by that? These diamonds can literally be worn in the shower, to the gym, to the beach, and you're not gonna have to worry about any tarnishing on the chain or it changing colors because after all, it is 14 karat gold and real diamonds, you guys. Like these pieces are stunning. So not to brag, but a lot of celebrities also wear Idol and I have the same power ear cuff that Ashley Park wears. Other celebrities that wear them, you have Eva Longoria, Jessica Alba. So not only is this jewelry accessible, but it's also gonna be worn by some of your favorite celebrities. Now, just like the earrings being modular, so are the necklace and pendants. So with these, I have on two. I have the Solo 5, which is a half carat, 
absolutely stunning. Love how it catches the light. And underneath it, I have the Ava. Now, just like everything else, this can be worn a multitude of ways. I have it wearing the teardrop going down, but you could flip it have it upside down or wear it side to side, or my favorite aspect, get two of them and wear them facing each other. I think it would be such a vibe. And you don't have to buy multiple chains. You can buy just one chain and several different diamonds to wear off of it. Is the Solo 5 too big? Go down to the Solo 3 if you're looking for a little bit more quiet luxury. Now guys, check out my links down below. Let me know which is your favorite piece that I have on. Check them out, take a look. And while you're on their website, if this is something you're interested in buying, make sure to sign up for their newsletter because they have all sorts of exciting promotions that are just for idle clients. Also, while you're checking out the website, make sure to look for a promotion because they always have exciting promotions. And when you place your order, you do receive some free gifts. In my package, I got a beautiful travel pouch, a silk scrunchie, and a beautiful little hand mirror that is going to 100% go into my Birkin. So that way I have a mirror when I'm out and about. But again, thank you so much to the team at Idol. I am so excited to join the Idol family. All right, another one of my favorite jewelry companies has been on Moon. They make beautiful handmade pieces in New York City, and I have I have a small Ben Moon collection, not gonna lie, I kinda love their pieces. First up is the Marietta necklace, and this is one of my favorite pieces to wear. This gorgeous cross is done in Majorca pearls. It's giving that over-the-top old money energy. Like, I love wearing this layered with an opera-length strand of pearls and a couple of other Ben Moon necklaces that I have. I have the Irie necklace, and I forget the name of this one, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I love, you know, wearing these with like some of my velvet blazers, perfect for New Year's Eve parties. Also, in the Ben Moon collection, I have the Casablanca three coin necklace. Now this piece sadly has been long discontinued, but what I love about the Casablanca collection is again, it's beautiful, it's perfect for summer, the gold coins, it is it is a vibe 100. I love Ben Moon. I've even been, gotten lucky and found a couple pairs of earrings. This first one is just like a gold. It almost reminds me of like Byzantine era jewelry. And I'd love just wearing this clip on off to one side. And I have a matching pair of coin and pearl earrings as well, but they're a bit much to wear together. So I usually you'll see me in the videos just wearing like one on my, my left ear or something like that. But guys, if you haven't yet, check out Ben Moon. Now let's talk about some more sparkly things. When it comes to those big diamond necklaces that you all know that I love to wear, I get these from Shop GLD. Shop GLD, they use white gold plated metals, beautiful CZ stones. They're not real, sadly. I mean, do you really think I could have afforded that much diamond around my neck? But <laughs> these pieces are just fun. They come with a warranty. I actually had one break before we left for Germany a few years ago. They sent me a new piece in the mail. It was easy peasy lemon squeezy. I have the multi-cluster tennis chain, the just regular tennis chain, and then the matching tennis bracelet, which always gets mistaken for real when we're out and about, which is 100% a vibe, but check them out if you haven't yet. They make some really neat pieces. Now let's finish this up with some more sparkly goodness. Now you all know that I am obsessed with Swarovski. It is who I am, I just love it. It's tacky, it's over the top, it's fun. But what I love most is the price points. The prices are really good. It's just fun costume jewelry. Up first, I have the Tigress ear cuffs. These come in on a variety of colors. They've actually sadly been discontinued. You can still find them at the outlet for like 20, 30 bucks a piece, which is amazing. I have it in pink, yellow, green, and blue. Just something fun to add a little pizzazz to an outfit. Also to that end, I have a few of the Millennia ear cuffs. I have the Peridot and Gold version. I have the Amethyst and Silver version. I also have this really cool magnetic ear cuff which has like neat geometrical shaped stones on it. And last but not least, as far as my smaller pieces goes, I have that beautiful pyramidal shaped cocktail ring which is just fun. It's nice, it's under the radar, it's a good color, works well with just about anything you could possibly wear, and I really like wearing this piece out to like lunches and things like that. Now last but not least, when it comes to Swarovski and Probably, I think I'm gonna say this literally about every piece, my new diamonds, my Gucci, my Swarovski, my Ben on Moon. This is one of my favorite pieces, you guys. This is the Gemma ear cuff, and it literally steals the show each and every time I wear it. I call it a power piece, if you will. Like, it, it makes a statement. You really don't have to have much on else with it unless you really wanna go over the top, but it's perfect for parties, cocktail events. You know, we're coming up on the holiday season, if you will, so it's gonna get some use then. But what I love about it, it has the multicolored stones and it covers the entire ear. Now, sadly, they didn't make one for both sides, you know, each ear, but I think that'd probably be a little too much? Is there any such thing as too much? Never. But I love wearing this piece, you guys. I've linked it several times. Sadly, I think this part of the Gemma collection has been discontinued, but you can still find this at the outlets for such good deals. And listen, I'm not mad that I paid full price for it because 
I've gotten my money's worth. This piece is phenomenal. All right, guys, that was my long-awaited jewelry collection. Now, this was only my favorite pieces because if we were talking about my entire jewelry collection, we would be here for hours. You don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I saved us both some time and I cut it down. These are my favorite go-to pieces, some new diamonds, if you will. I'm seeing it catch the light. It is stunning. Thank you so much to the team at Idol. I am so excited for this partnership. If you guys have any questions about anything, let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to help you find some of these pieces too if you want. And don't forget, check out the Idol links down below. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. Let's get a conversation going. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.